Welcome back to Ending Explained, where I explain movies you guys don't understand. Today we're talking about Braid. So in short, we're made to believe that Daphne is the crazy one, when in fact all three are actually mentally unstable. It seems that they're all living in the fantasy world that they created. The director was actually inspired by the fact that eventually most people stop playing make-believe as they grow up. But what if we actually didn't? What if we're actually in the shadows of our own dreams in a simulation? Let's talk about what isn't real. The train and the drug bust never actually happened. In fact, the train is just a part of their toys. So is the police officer we eventually see, and we see where he got his name from their paints. A reason we can tell a lot of it is fake is because when the girls get injured, they never seem hurt as bad as they should be. And this is because they're playing pretend. Petula is in denial of the situation throughout most of the movie and realizes at the end. Allegedly, she always tries to leave but can't. Although the three appear to kill themselves at the end, this is really just some of that round of the game ending. And at the end, we see very old versions of the women showing that this has been going on and on for a very, very long time. What movie should I do next?